Hello everyone and welcome back to another video or welcome if you are new here. If you're new, I would love for you to quickly hit that subscribe button and please be sure to hit the like button on your way out if you like today's video. Today I am sharing what I bought in Salem for this last spring trip. Now, I just have to start off by saying, I mean there's a good bit to show, but it's not as much of the usual things that I would be sharing because if you don't follow me on Instagram and you haven't seen the update, I got incredibly sick the last day in Salem. Like around 2 a.m. when I went to bed on the second to last day, like around 2 a.m. I woke up. I don't know if I caught a stomach bug or if it was food poisoning, but oh my God, I was just for hours and hours. It was terrible. So the very last day of our trip, thank God for Glenn. He took the kids out and did a ton of stuff with them while I literally could not get out of bed. So. That sucks, but I'm not gonna harp on it. I'm like, it is what it is. We're gonna take the kids back to Salem next summer and I'm going two more times this year where I will vlog. By the way, I am working on the Salem vlog. I don't know when it'll be up. It's definitely gonna be two, if not three parts. And it is so cute so far. I'm really excited for it. So today I'm gonna share what I did get. Okay, I'm just like randomly grabbing things. <laughs> this is so cute. I gotta get this in water for the kids. This I actually did not buy. Destination Salem is who sponsors my trips when I go to Salem and when they work with me. And they were so sweet to work with Sam and I on this past trip. And when we went in to meet them and have them meet the kids and stuff, they gave them all these lobster lollipops and then these little grow and expand lobsters. So I have this in the bag and the kids need to get that in water. I'm also sorry if you can hear the fan. I can't turn it off. If you know me, you're here, you know me, I can't deal with heat. I can't turn it off. I was gonna try to turn it off suck it up for the sake of this video, but I can't, so I'm sorry. Anyways, the first thing, the first actual thing that I bought is this adorable Goodwitch flying broom pin. How cute is this? You guys know I have like two or three denim jackets that I use specifically for my pins, and I have like Halloween pins, Bora pins, Salem ones all over them, so I had to get the Goodwitch because I didn't have any of hers. This is actually my first time visiting the Goodwitch you will see this in the vlog. Um, we had the absolute most magical time. Sam and I both literally cried. And I, as I'm like, tears are falling, I'm like, is this normal? And she's like, oh, parents cry all the time. It was the coolest experience. The Good Witch is the most magical, gentle, most patient soul. And she put on a slime making class for the girls and they got to get like glitter all over their faces and in their hair and pink hair extensions. And they were in all their glory. So she was so amazing. I had to get the Good Witch pin. While I'm talking about the Good Witch, I thought I would show you real quick. Look how cute the slime is. <laughs> So they had them, there's like different options, like packages that they offer. And then, like I said, she just did the slime one with the girls. It is so cute. They got the little witch to decorate. And then like these stickers and little gems, like Salem got to put them on herself. It was so cute. And then I also got this for Salem from the Good Witch because she just had to have it. I asked her what she wanted from in there. Of course she wanted a cat. This surprises absolutely no one. And she's really freaking precious so worth the money she's so cute and Salem sleeps with her every night now okay next this was actually gifted to me as well but it's still something I got so I thought I would show you this is the mercury candle from pentagram now I can do a different video like a separate video oh my god it smells it smells like pentagram it smells so good if you are interested in hearing about our readings certain things are a little personal that I won't get into but if you would like me to do a separate video all about my readings I can because I was completely left in tears again. My grandfather came through. Glenn had a reading after. He was beside himself with how his reading went. It was so phenomenal. He had family members come through. Sam's ha Sam had her aunt come through who unfortunately passed not long ago. It was such an incredible session with Leanne at Pentagram. I just cannot recommend her enough. This is the second time that I've seen her. Both times blew me away. <clears throat> like I know it's not for everyone and that is so okay I respect everybody's opinions but no one will ever 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 while I'm alive on this planet convince me she is not the real deal because this is the second time now that she has told me things that I mean just brought me like sh goosebumps and shaking and tears like that no one knew besides like my immediate family 
crazy things. So if you want to know more about that, leave a comment down below and I can film that for you. But anyway, she gifted Sam and I the Mercury Candle. Um, it was in a cute little gift bag with stars. It was very sweet that they did this for us because they did gift us the readings as well. Pentagram is just, it's amazing. It says, the planet Mercury rules information, communication, and legal matters. This candle is for concentrated, this candle is concentrated with the power of the spirits of Mercury. Use this candle to gain secret knowledge. Burn on a Wednesday to bring forth friendship, travel, truth, and successful business and legal transactions. So very cool and so sweet of her. I actually have the small one. If you saw my last, what I got in Salem video, maybe two ago, this is what I, back when I went with the girls in the spring. This is the candle that I was like drawn to that I bought that she then told me I should buy after. If this sounds familiar, I can link that video down below. Anyways, so good and it smells amazing. Okay, next we got the kids from Coons, um, which is where I got this other sweatshirt. It's the it's where I got that sweatshirt that I wear all the time that says Salem. If you follow me on Instagram, I like live in that sweatshirt. We ended up getting these for the kids. And let me just tell you, these are hoodies. I just grabbed this one's bears. We got them for all the kids, like Sam's three kids and my three kids. And it was the best decision ever because they looked so cute all walking around in their tie-dye. Um, the boys, you'll see this in the vlog, like danced down Essex Street with horror masks on and these and like everybody was stopping and laughing at them and telling them how good they were doing. It was so cute. Like they had the best time and these looked adorable. And you know what it was about these that I was so drawn to? There are photos of me at the beach here in the 90s with like me and my cousins up on, you know, if you've been to a beach, there's like those beach walls, you know, and we're all like sitting up there in like matching hoodies like this. Like the colors just felt so 90s. I just, I absolutely loved them. I thought it was so precious. So each kid got one of these, which came in handy because it did rain during drizzled I should say didn't need like an umbrella but it was drizzling during the kids walking tour so I was happy they had hoods and then for myself I got this one which is so cute in gray again like the other one but my other one says Salem in like that maroon outline so I wanted just the all black I messed up though and I'm so bummed I didn't realize, I knew that the other one was super oversized. It's why I like rave about it. Like the sleeves hang like this far off, but I love it. Like I want super oversized when it comes to sweatshirts. So when I got this in the store, I grabbed a large thinking that that's what the other one was. And this is big on me, don't get me wrong. Like it's a nice size, but the other one is massive. Like it's like a blanket and that's how I love it. It's an XXL. The other one is an extra, extra large. And I got this one in a large, not realizing that that's why the other one was so big. So this one's fine and it'll be good and it's super cozy, but I'm gonna get an XXL when I go back in September slash October. Okay, next in front of me, I thought I'd share with you guys, you'll see all the behind the scenes of the aura readings from Ascend, but I thought I would take a second and like share them with you. Um, these were gifted to us as well. So a massive shout out to Ascend, Carmelo, if you see this, I just love you and I miss you. Um, they were so, so sweet to do this for us. So if you've never had your aura read, I cannot recommend it enough. Ascend is the only place you want to go to for this. And that's just the truth. They are phenomenal. It was such a cool experience. Now they took Glenn's aura and they actually used it for their signage. And I left it. If you're watching this, Carmelo, you have Glenn's. I left it with you on accident. So I have to get it when we go back. But a few weird things happen with the auras. One of the craziest things is that Graham's and Glenn's looked identical. Like Graham's started coming through and Carmelo was like, Jess, is Bear like his dad or is he just like his dad? And I was like, I got goosebumps when he yelled that across the room to me because I knew what he was gonna say. Graham could not be more my husband, like if he tried. They are so similar and it was just mind blowing that their auras were exactly the same. Here's another cool thing. So Wyatt and Bear are complete opposites and like, oh my God, did their auras show that. So there's Wyatt's. And here's bears, look how cool that is. And I'll show you like on the back is the little chart. Obviously you can like research this and learn more, but it just tells you the basics of the colors. So 
Glenn's, just like Graham's, was more like stable, passionate, has like a temper sort of, but like very soft side for the people that they love and creative, which oh my God, like Graham and Glenn are both so creative and can draw beautifully. And, and then Wyatt's is much more like the blues and the greens, which is like balanced and loving and intuitive and thoughtful. And they just fit them to a T. Now mine, I thought was actually very cool looking. Everybody there was like, oh my gosh, um, because I just have a lot of different things going on. So like up here would be like your spirits who are watching out over you, which is amazing. I love knowing that. Um, and then again, like the green is balance and loving and harmony. Yellow is confident and playful. Um, the indigos up here is very intuitive, which I've been told many times. Spiritual is also like this white um, just kind of like connected with the other side. So it was very neat, but here's the coolest thing. So again, this is exactly what Glenn's looked like, like exactly. But when we did the couples, we ended up like this and Carmelo was saying how cool this actually is because it almost, like he explains it so much better than I can, but Basically, when Glenn is with me, my aura kind of takes over the more rough side of his and creates this harmony and balance between us, which I thought was so pretty. And you can see like, isn't that crazy? Like look at mine alone and then me with Glenn. So neat. So anyways, you have to go there. I mean, you have to go to Ascend anyways. Number one favorite store in Salem, hands down, no competition. It is the only place we will get our crystals from. We just support them through and through. Carmelo has become a really good friend of mine. Um, and yeah, I just love them. I, I cannot recommend them enough. And I actually got some crystals. We get crystals every time we go there. Let's see if I can show you this without like messing up. Not really. They're all up there. So I'm going to be getting Glenn a, and myself a like wooden, I've seen them before. It's like a wooden circle shelf with like the moon on one side and the shelves on the other to put all of our crystals because we are getting such a massive collection. And I just want to have a place to put all of them like down here where you can really see them. Um, okay, so the two that Glenn picked out this time, I loved. He got them for us. These are the two bodices. So here's the male. And then here's the female, which I love. She's the rose quartz, just so pretty. She has her little butt, like, go ahead, girl. Look how cute that is. So I love these because this, again, creates like harmony and balance between the two. So we have these sitting together now. And then I was like incredibly drawn to this cat. I haven't seen cats there. I'm sure they were there. I just hadn't noticed cats there before. And again, we're just such a huge cat family and just love them so much. So when I saw these around, I was like, okay, I need a cat. But then I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with. Speaking of cats, that was one of my cats anyways. And then I found this one. And this crystal helps with communication and like calming energy, which we always need in this house. So I thought she was absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I love her. And again, like I just cannot recommend going to Ascend enough for your crystals. That way you know that they're all ethically sourced. You can just feel confident in your decisions. Everything there is just, oh, it's so pretty. I shot a lot for the vlog in Ascend, so you'll see all that in the vlog. I loved those adding to the collection slowly but surely. I also have this here that I wanted to share. Shout out to Robin. I found this. The boys ate there, so long story short, Robin was so sweet and got all of the kids personalized cookies and my boys ate theirs already and I found Salem's so she will enjoy this tonight and that was so sweet of Robin that I thought I would show it to you. Okay so I think this is the last thing again didn't do as much damage on this trip I'm trying to see what else is in here. I have like a bunch of shells Erin also side note was so sweet. I don't know that these are from Ascend, but I am sure they are because her and Carmelo are besties. But we had this waiting in a little, she had a whole welcome basket that you'll see in the vlog waiting for us. And there's a ton of little crystals in here. So sweet. Okay, so the last item I got was actually from Count Orlocks. 
So I touched on this in my Oriental Trading Halloween video. I don't know which one of these is going to be up first, but I'm definitely moving back towards more traditional for Halloween this year. I'm going to do a whole video on like how I'm going to decorate. I thought it'd be a cool video to like talk about the different rooms and what I plan to do versus like a scene what I actually do because you know it changes as you're decorating. But as of now, I'm thinking much more traditional orange and black again, less of like the purples and the pinks and the stuff that I added in last year. So when I saw this print, I was like, I love it. I loved this print. Look how pretty. Sorry, it's going to be a glare. I just thought this was absolutely beautiful. It's called Bitey Cats. So it's biteycats.com and there was a bunch of them. But this one just being these traditional colors I thought was gorgeous and it's cats again and we just love cats so I'm going to frame it I do have I have a few different things framed I have town hall framed up here from Salem I have Aggie from Halloween Town framed over there I thought I would frame this for the other side it's just so beautiful I don't know why I was drawn to this one but I was I think this was $20 so I will get like a light wood frame to go with the house frame this bad boy and I'm excited to see it out. It says established in 1626, the witch city, Salem. Okay loves, that's going to wrap up today's video. I feel like I'm forgetting things and I actually think that once I stop filming this, I'm going to remember things that we got. The rest of it was all like the kids stuff. Like they, they went into the comic store and got, I think Wyatt got a NECA figure, I think. Bear got this Batman toy, you know, they were getting like toys and snacks and stuff all along the way, candy, things like that. But this was, I think, it as far as like things that I bought or got for the house for me, you know, I think. I'm sure I'll forget something. I'll insert it if I did. But I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I will definitely do this at the end of the October trip and it'll be much bigger because like I didn't get into um, which city wicks. I didn't, a few of my favorite places I didn't get to. So I'm going to do all that on the October trip. That trip is not sponsored. They don't work with people in October because they don't need the help. It's already too busy there. So that's a trip where I'm kind of like free to just wander and I plan to shop a lot. So you will see all of that. I'm going to vlog. And then I'll be back in November working with a hotel, which I am so grateful for this hotel wanting to work with Sam and I. So anyways, many more Salem hauls to come this year. But thank you guys so much for being here. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell before you go and share this video with a Salem lover. And I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.